Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO live stream. Now that I'm done school, pretty good time to stream, don't you think? So that is why I am indeed streaming, because I'm done school now. So I have all the time in the world, and uh, so it'll be a good time to live stream and uh, just kind of chill out. I'm probably going to be playing some Expanded. I might be playing some Haunch Crow just to troll some people. Um, and then we can maybe build some decks, try out some new ideas here. Um, if that sounds cool to you guys, um, actually, I guess while we wait for some people to join, uh, tomorrow's video, might as well spoil it, it is going to be on this Decidueye Cricketune deck, but I'm an idiot and I forgot to put in, uh, netballs in this deck, which, I mean, yeah, the video had no netballs in it, but it really wasn't even that big of a deal, because the video actually, I thought, came out pretty well even without the netballs, so I might play this Decidueye Cricketune deck just for some fun, maybe show you guys how the deck works before I uh, inevitably have the video get uploaded tomorrow, but uh, yo, Cramster, how you doing, man? Thank you for coming by on today's stream, um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by, man. How you doing, dude? But yeah, we're just going to play around with some decks. I'm going to play some Honchkrow here. I do have both the Honchkrow Zoark deck and I have the Honchkrow Pads deck. We'll try the Honchkrow Pads. This version is a lot more just streamlined. Um, you just have Order Pad and Trainer's Mail. Just a lot of ways to hit the turn one Honchkrow. We we'll just try to troll some alternate Cosmo folks. Not what we're up against, though. Where is the Coca-Cola? Haven't opened it yet. I just had a coffee. I have, like, I have a bunch of Coke. I might get a Coke for the stream. I don't know. Um, yeah, I know Gary though. I usually drink on stream, but it's all good today. I don't really, I don't know. I have enough energy. I just got out of the shower too, so I'm kind of energized. Uh, I am playing this game. Uh, this game is beautiful. Yes, it is. This is a fun game, Graham. This is a fun game. Even if the standard format kind of sucks right now, this game is pretty fun. Um, ooh, Carbink, not a big deal. Okay, we do the Dust Stone, which is nice. We just get the turn one Haunch Crow. So then I can't play strong energy, uh, which is beautiful. We might as well just nest ball here for another Murkrow. We need to get some energy into play to attack. I lied. I made a Spirit Tomb Dolls deck in standard. Nice, Hyper. How does the deck play? What's the whole idea of the deck? Like, what attackers? I am from the Chez Republic. Dang, that's pretty sick, Graham. It's cool to know that I have viewers from, like, all across the world that watch my streams. I think that's pretty cool. And watch my videos, too. I think it's really cool just having people all around the world. Because I'm from Canada, so usually I would be like, oh, yeah, you know, you got people in the U.S., people from Canada watching my videos. But there's people from all around the planet, which I think is just kind of mind-blowing, thinking about that. Um, yeah, my opponent can't do can't use strong energy. They can't counter my stadium, and they can't do much else. So, yeah, this this lock is pretty OP. I generally think going into Dallas, Honchko could be a really big play. Like, I, I don't know how many people will be respecting Honchko, but it is a really good card. Just saying. Uh, they get rid of some energy. I mean, they can play basic energy, but, like, they also can't do much damage to me because of my resistance. Same objective, uh, but use one or two dolls to set up. Oh, I see. So you sit behind a doll while you kind of build up your spite. I'm from Italy. Nice, Alessandro. I am also Italian. I've been to Italy this year, and there's a Lysander. Yeah, now I regret mentioning this. Maybe I should have trainers mailed. They probably don't have a counter stadium, though. We'll just goose Mahala anyways. But, yeah, I'm also from Italy. Um, I, well, my... My whole side of the family, my mom's side anyway, is all from Italy. But yeah, welcome, dude. Umbreon with Stamp, then Stall, Lele, um, late game. Oh, what kind of Lele and Umbreon, Hyper? Um, okay, what are we getting here? I think we'll take another Via Seeker. No, I'll take a Sonic Lab. Are you playing the Honchkrow deck? Nice work. Yeah, I'm just trying out this Honchkrow deck. Uh, it's a fun troll deck. I'll get rid of the Team Flare Gun. It's a fun troll deck. Um, it's one of my favorite. Oh, I should have the Silent Lab, because I'm going to get a lab anyways. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. I should have kept the Crushing Hammer. It's all Gucci, though. I don't really see what my opponent could do at this point. Could have unfared him out of the game, too. But uh, we'll just take our prizes, put some pressure on. Oh, late game. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, I thought that said Stall Lele. That said late game. Oh, my bad. I'm from um, Paraguay, representing South America here. Yo, nice, Adrian. That's pretty sick. Oh, they had a Sycamore rip. Still, though, they're like, doing no damage to me here. They can't counter my stadium, so they can't use Dallas' ability. I just, yeah, with Muscle Band, we're doing 110. Yeah, this is really good. What's up, bro? Yo, Seth, how you doing, dude? Thanks for coming by on the stream today. I'm um, doing good, man. What about you? 
Sup, yo, Talonite. What up, man? How you doing? Thanks for coming by on today's stream. Um, okay, so I think we have to bring in that Zygarde. That thing is a bit of a threat. I'm playing a Mega Charizard deck. It is beautiful deck. Are you playing the uh, Mega Charizard Sunflower deck I made a video on? I would like a two new. Uh, we'll hit him with a Feather Storm for 110. Two shot this thing. And go from there. He's only going to be doing 30 damage to me too. So that's pretty good. I also play a Darkrai and Umbreon tag team. Best way to play ADP. Really? Are you playing Umbreon Darkrai with ADP Hyper? That's a really interesting combo. I actually did build a pretty cool ADP deck. Um, ooh, the yeah, end. That's pretty gracious. Uh, I actually did build a pretty cool ADP build using um, Gengar Mimikyu. Yes, yes. Nice, Cramster. Good luck, man, with the deck. Maybe I'll run into you, too, because I'm also playing Expanded right now. Okay, well, Crushing Hammer. Do get heads. Take that off. You no longer have access to your energy, buddy. Think we'll trainer's mail? I don't really know what else I really need to do right now. We're kind of just we're in the driver's seat. I think we're just unfair. Or not unfair, but Featherstorm. To beat ADP. Oh, to beat ADP. I sorry, I can't read today, Hyper. I'm misreading all your things. My bad, bro. That's interesting, though. Um, what do you have in, like, the Dark Box deck, though, Hyper, to beat ADP? Because I don't know, because I feel like Keldeo would still be an issue. Yeah, rip my opponent. We'll just Guzma again, bring out any Zygarde GXs. There's not much they can really do. A double Haunch Crow. There's literally no way they can get rid of my Silent Lab. And there's an end of three. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got a mail at least. Darkrai Prism, interesting. I don't know, Darkrai Prism is interesting, but like the problem is so hyper, Mal and Lana. Hey guys, yo, Jacob and Rodrigo, man, how you doing? Thank you for coming by on today's live stream. How you doing, dudes? How are you doing on this Monday? Okay, that is one way you can get special energy in play, but building up the down C is fine, and there is via Seeker. Hmm, I think we just knocked this out. We'll deal with the down seat later. If it had 110 HP, that'd be nice. But we'll just knock out the car bank. This gets rid of his energy acceleration. I'm going to buy on Christmas a Kingdra EX box. This is very nice. I'm going to pull a Mega Alec of Dam. It's a beautiful card. Good luck, man. That's why I play three stamp. Oh, true. Yeah, stamp's a pretty underappreciated card right now in standard. It's a rod. I mean, they can attack with Diancy. The strong energy definitely is kind of surprising, but we can... Uh, Try to Juniper next turn, try to hit an, try to hit a hand and hammer, get rid of the energy, and I'll be good. Nice, I wish I had the cards to play Expanded. Yeah, I mean, Expanded is interesting because there's a lot of stuff you need, like the Seeker, Shaman, uh, and Juniper, or Sycamore. But good luck getting them if you do end up getting them, Rodrigo. Good luck with that. All right, let's see what they're doing here. No other Zygarde's in play, which is good. They could have me to two, which is a little worrying if they do get that. Nope, Diamond Rain. So they can do 90. They're still hitting me pretty hard. Might have to retreat here. I think we'll just get another Haunch and play. Oh no, it's prized. Or it's in the discard. It's in the... I need to read better. Now I regret that because that's an easy Guzma target. Uh, let's go here. Hmm, take the Ant out of the deck. I'll take the Dust Down. We'll just go for Juniper, I think, and just try to... Try to retreat Haunch into another Haunch Potentially auto wins Malamar just tested last night, beat it twice. Nice. Yeah, Dark Box would probably be Malamar, I would think. Oh, we didn't get an energy. Wow. That's pretty rough. Hmm. I guess we'll just have to lose Honchkrow here. That sucks. Not getting an energy is pretty bad. Not even an enhanced tamer. I guess I should have order padded to get rid of that. Yeah, I definitely should have done that. No, yeah, whatever. It's not the end of the world. I think we'll still be fine. I think we're still in a pretty good spot, regardless if we get knocked out or not. Like, I do regret benching that Murkrow. That could come to bite me in the butt, but we'll see. We just get a Field Blower. That will allow him to get rid of the lab. I think we still have a few labs left. Yeah, we still have our labs. Uh, did you make any changes? Uh, to what deck, Chris? Okay. 
So we have one Honshko left to try to win the game. It's a bit of a yikes. Alright, it's order pad. We do get tails, which sucks. Might just do Guzman Hala here. Just to guarantee the energy for Honchko. I think we'll just have to get rid of these two cards. We need to keep our supporters. We need to guarantee the energy. Okay. We'll see if my opponent can do anything. That 30 damage goes a long way too, because now we can two-shot him with Featherstorm. Probably just scoop to Greenzard. Yeah, Greenzard would be pretty hard to beat. But Greenzard's not as popular anymore. I haven't really run into the deck that much. I'm running more into an abilities our deck. Oh, this deck. Oh! Uh, yeah, this is a uh, more focused order pad build of Haunch Crow. Okay, so he can actually hit me pretty hard here because of that field blower. Still can't play strong energy though, so it's fine. He might not even have a basic energy here. Yeah, this uh, build is literally just quad Haunch Crow pretty much with only three Haunch Crow instead of four. And it uses order pads and trainer's mails to basically just try to guarantee a turn one Haunch Crow no matter what. I love Zygarde. Yeah, Zygarde's pretty cool, Cramster. And Zygarde GX might be good when uh, the new EV Snorl or the new EV the new Snorlax VMAX comes out. Honchko might start seeing more play. I right, see if they get an energy here. No, they don't. Oh, rip them. Uh, what am I doing? Do I need to do anything? Here? Um, not really. Yeah, they just concede. Yep, that's the Honchko deck, guys. Even though we didn't really run into a good old uh, alternate Crossma deck, which is what we're trying to hunt down. Uh, but it's all good. Let's continue on with our matches here. We'll just keep trying to play the Honcho deck. Just keep trying to win games. Just, you know, try to achieve some wins. I haven't played PCGO in a few days. I've been playing a lot of my PlayStation, so I just really haven't had time to really play a lot of PCGO. So I'm just trying to maybe get my ELO up a little bit. And maybe try to get those Plasma, sleep, plasma Freeze packs. It's actually a pretty good ladder because Chorus Full Art being on the ladder is actually pretty sick. GG, yeah, man, that was a good game, Rodrigo. Just showing off how Honcho is so good. Locking your opponent from being able to play... Stadium special energy and tools is ridiculous. Honchko is a really good card right now, in my opinion. Even without red card and Marsh Shadow being able to like combo unfair GX with those cards, I still think Honchko is still pretty powerful. Oof, if we prized our last Honchko here, we actually can't do a turn one Honchko. It's unfortunate. I'm opening Forbidden Lights and I'm pulling an Evil Tall and I need a Zygarde. Good luck, Cramster. How many opening? Uh, what are you playing on your console? Mainly just Call of Duty. I've been replaying a lot of COD Zombies right now. Just trying to get back into that game. COD Zombies is pretty fun to play. Um, oh, they're playing Archies. And they get the Turn 1 Archies. Awesome. And Fortnite. Those are the two games I play on my console right now. Yeah, I know. I'm a Fortnite noob. You hate to see it. It's weird because Fortnite last year was like the best game ever. It was like the most popular game on the planet. Now, like, it's fun. It's cool to hate on Fortnite, which I think is really stupid. I hate that mentality where, like, people will... Hop onto a game's bandwagon, and then once that game starts losing popularity, people hop off it, and then they start hating on it. It's like, bro, like, come on. That's such, like, you're such a hypocrite. Yeah, Archie's, this is arguably an unwinnable matchup. I'm not really scared of the Keldeo, because we do have Rule of the Night, but this is a pretty bad matchup, I would say. Especially because they're going first, and they do have the turn one Archie's here, most likely. This matchup is, like, unwinnable, I would say. We'll see. Oh, they end a Mewtwo. Okay, that's fine. If we can turn one, lock them here, get a Sun Lab and play, then they're really shut down. Maybe they don't have the Archies? If they don't have it, that'll be really good. Okay, they do have it. Rip. That's stupid. You should not be able to use Jet Geyser when I have no bench Pokemon. And then they wouldn't have gone the Archies here. Yeah, that's just great game mechanic game. Great game design. That's great game design right there. I guess we can, like, unfair them, maybe. Try to get rid of any energy recovery cards. I guess without like Dedenne and Lele and Shaman, they might struggle a little bit to draw cards because we want to lock us on a lab into play. That'll be the goal. I made a spicy ADP Ampho deck that might work. Interesting hyper. Oh my god, they play Chaotic Swap. Alright, screw this. We're conceding. Not gonna happen. What's your favorite Pokemon game? Uh probably Gold and Silver, I would say. Because I kind of grew up on that game. Another Archie's deck. Are you kidding me? Well, maybe it's not Archie's. It might be ADP. We'll see. I mean, if it is ADP, we can get rid of Double Dragon Energy with Honchko's ability. Yeah, my favorite Pokemon game of all time is Gold and Silver, because that's what got me into Pokemon back in the day. 
Though I do have a soft spot for the for Pokemon Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire too. But I think Johto had like the best music. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 1 is also very good. That game, every time I watch it, it's like I get like the biggest nostalgia trip ever. And I really love the Sky Tower theme on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Like that theme is legit like beautiful i think it's a it's a beautiful theme adp expanded equals a legal act i don't know adp and expanded i don't really think it's as good as people make it out to be because if you play one pokemon ranger you literally just win the game or you don't win the game but you rain ranger destroys adp and like i think if you're gonna play any deck you have to play ranger now which i don't think we put in this deck probably a good idea to play it it's another archie's deck that's pretty annoying they do have a big hand though, so they might not even get the Archie's Ace in the hole in play. Oh, maybe they will get it. They better not. Or maybe they're not playing Archie's. I have no idea what we're playing against here. It could be. Or maybe it's a Seismato deck. Yeah, it is Seismato. Never mind. It's not Archie's. It is Seismato Giratina, which is perfectly fine because we can uh, just completely lock them out of the game with Honchkrow. So that, this matchup's actually pretty good. This is a good matchup, I would say. Quaking Punch might be a problem, but other than that, we can we can shut them out of the game. Once we get rid of one DC, and they already attach it, so if they don't get a float stone here, Keldeo will also be trapped in the active spot. So this matchup should be pretty good, I would say. Pokemon Y, it's so good. I haven't played the 3D. I, well, I never got a 3DS. I haven't played Sword and Shield or Pokemon Y or X yet, or Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. The last Pokemon game I played in terms of generation would have been black and white too that was like the last game i played on pokemon or the last generation i played the video games on i played a lot of pokemon out when i was in italy in the summer when i you know long car rides and like just you know being bored and stuff i, I just played a lot of pokemon games on my phone so I, I replayed a lot of them i beat like emerald and red and blue and stuff like that and black and white now these are the cards i recognize yo big pimpin man long time no see once again how you doing brother yes my point is playing an og toad tina deck which I'll probably end up winning just because of Honchkrow. I'm playing black too. Yeah, black. the Pokemon black and white games are pretty good too. Let's see if they end me here. Which hopefully they don't. I like this hand. It's a real... No, they're going to end me. Of course they are. You don't know my hand and you're going to end me. That's annoying. I like this hand. We could have order padded into an, into an enhanced hammer to get rid of that DCE. Let's see if we get a better hand. Probably not. No, my bad luck. Okay, that's not terrible. As long as we have the Haunch Crow, I'm fine. We don't have a way to stop the DCE because of that stupid end. Yes, end me when you didn't know what I was playing. Awesome. Okay, we drew an end back. Alright, whatever. We're good. As long as Haunch Crow's in play. Maybe he's cheating. Maybe, yeah, maybe he just knew my hand because he has, like, see-through vision. Doing good. It's nice to see cards from my era. Yeah, man. This is an OG deck, but I don't know if my opponent can really win the game, unfortunately, for them. I just order pad... I don't really know what I'm looking for, to be honest with you. I guess, like, Trainer's Mail. Try to get a sign lab here. Yep, there it is. Should we end them? I'm going to say no. I don't want to end them into, like, a Team Flare Ground. They could get rid of my energy, too, which is a little bit of a worry. So I think next turn we'll maybe try to end an unfair, get rid of any crushing hammers that they might have. And I didn't want to play the Muscle Band. I don't think there's a point of playing Muscle Band in this matchup. I think it's better to just play the Float Stone. But they can't attack me other than Laser Verbank, but then we can Float Stone go to another Honchkrow, which is the idea. They get heads, of course they do. There's Crushing Hammer number one. They get heads, that is very aggravating. Still, they have way less cards, so I could literally just keep passing every turn and win the game if I really wanted to. Until I get another Honchkrow in play, I could just go Honchkrow, float, and then uh, they can't do anything with laser. So I don't even know if they can win, let alone attack me. There's a scoop up. They do get tails. So they keep burning cards. We could win by decking them out. So it's going to be one of these games where we just sit in the active and stall the game out. We have all the time in the world to win the game. We are going to get knocked out by Poison, but that's fine. We'll just go Murkrow into another Honchkrow, float into the other Honchkrow, and we'll be Gucci. And they can't play Verbank City Gym, so 
We don't even have to worry about that. They definitely play no basic energy, right? Like, there's no waters, nothing like that. Even if there is, we have Crushing Hammer and we have Team Flare Grunt. See, we draw. There's DC. So we can unfair them here, which I think will pass. I mean, we need to move this Haunch Grove soon, so we might have to panic end them just to guarantee we don't get killed by poison. I mean, we have 16 turns, so I'm not too worried. There's a Versus Seeker. Looks like they're going to Chorus. Okay. Again, if they keep burning cards, they're going to lose. This is why you should play Nurse Joy. Yeah, I should have put Center Lee in this deck, Big Pimpin. It would have been the big brain move to do. Kappa. Yeah, literally Kappa. <laughs> I think we're Gucci, though. I just literally, I don't even think there's a way they can win the game at this point. And the Floatstone was a big brain card. Plus, we have Guzma, too. We have so many ways to get out of Poison. And they they've already used up three lasers, so they have one left. And they can't play Verbank, so yeah, we basically have 16 turns. They had a Murkrow Dust on here. I'm liking the odds. Maybe I should have went for the unfair there. Just I don't know. We'll wait a turn. We can afford to wait. We we have a few turns left. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I think I just have to end them now. Okay, we need to start digging, actually. I'm just going to try to guarantee the Murkrow. No, we didn't get it. Uh, we got Caitlyn Cynthia, though, which is fine. Because I can't do Juniper. We have way too much energy. Now, let's unfair them. What are we getting rid of here? I guess Via Seeker. Via Seeker and Christian Hammer. They are both gone. We actually do need to get a Murkrow ASAP. If we don't draw Murkrow here, we might lose to Poison. That would be very embarrassing. It'd be a very embarrassing way to lose. There's a scoop up. I get Tails. As long as we have two Haunch Groves in play, we should be good. Yeah, there's the end. That's why I didn't. That's why I got rid of the uh, via, the via Seeker because I want them to end me and give me a new hand because this hand's trash. Well, it's not bad, but like I don't want to get rid of anything. We just need to guarantee a Murkrow here, which if we can hit heads on order path, we can get Nest Ball. Or we can Skyla. Or, okay, there we go. We can just go Nest Ball into Haunch Crow, guarantee another Haunch Crow. There we go. That's what I want to do is guarantee two Haunch Crows. And then all we have to do is dig for Guzma and we can out Guzma them. We can probably just take our prizes too if we really wanted to. And before we prize both Honchkos. We almost did. You've got like five turns to get Murkrow. Yeah, but we Gucci now. We're just going to Featherstorm. We're just try to take prizes, you know. Might as well. We can win the game by taking prizes or by winning by stalling them out. We just need to make sure that last laser goes bye-bye. We'll just probably retreat to once we get Guzma, we can get out of the last poison. And then my opponent loses. And then we laugh because Haunch Crow is insanely powerful and expanded right now. There's Guzma, yep. We can actually do that right now, which I think we will, because we still have a lot of VS Seekers left. We can Guzma the Hoopa up too, which is even eviler. Because I can't do Keldeo's ability. And we can just order pad for another Guzma. If the time ever pops up. Yep, this is why you play Honchkrow, people, and Expanded. Other than all the turbo decks you might run into, yeah, you just, you cream these all special energy decks. Like, it is just insane. Honchkrow is insane. Oh my gosh. Yep, 8 energy, 4 DC, 4 double dragon. He had no way to get rid of my, uh, he had no way to stop me. He had Ranger, but that's not going to help you when I spam the feathers every day. Show this deck after this game, please. Yeah, here's the list. 4-3 Honchkrow, a bunch of hammers. Four Dust Stone, four Order Pad, four Mail, four Via Seeker, two Field Blower, three Labs, one Kaylin Cynthia. I am playing a Guzma Hala just to guarantee the DC, the Stadium. And yeah, this is the list. Another thing I would change is bump up an energy count, but I think other than that, this deck is like OP. And you win so many games. Like, there's going to be matchups where you can't win. How's it similar to Giratina EX? Not because you uh, lock them out with Ruler of the Night. They can't play two special energies. 
or stadiums from their hands. So you, they can't counter the Silent Lab, they can't play any DC or Double Dragon Energy, and on top of that, they can't attach any tools. Goat, yeah, this deck is busted. Uh, we'll do one more game with the deck here and expand it and just keep trying to win games, maybe get some cheese wins, we'll see. But yeah, this deck equals busted. It's a good ladder grinding deck too. There's a lot of people right now just playing special energy heavy decks and expanded. So like if you want to play a good ladder grinding deck, this is like a perfect deck to play. Because if you just keep hitting special energy heavy decks, you should win. Like Mew 3, Zoark GX is really good too. Obviously that Totina deck. Night March can be really good too. And there's, there's just games you'll just win because they have no way to stop them. What next? I don't know, Hyper. I think after this I might just play some standard. I do have a few standard decks built. I might even just show off tomorrow's video. Uh, well, the, the deck for tomorrow's video is what I'm talking about. See what they're playing. If they're playing a turbo deck, we concede, and they are playing a turbo deck, so we concede. We're just not going to be able to beat that. We'll, we'll just try to cheese out one more special energy heavy deck. We can't beat turbo decks, though, with this deck. Yo, what up? Hey, Fabian, man. How you doing, dude? Thank you for coming by on today's live stream. I will do one more game of the Haunch Core deck. I think after this game, I'm going to run quickly to my kitchen and get a drink or something. Get a pop. Because I am actually kind of thirsty. There's a Psychic deck. They could be playing Mew 3. How many hours a day do you play PDCGO? Like a few hours? Recording a video definitely takes up like a good like hour or so. Um, depending on how long it takes me to make a video. Some videos, I can record them in 40 minutes. The games, I can get, I find two games. Both games are great for the video. I thought they were entertaining and they were good matches showing up the deck really well. But then I have days where I run into just annoying stuff that like, I just, it makes me cry. And then videos take like two hours to make. Some bad rogue decks do tend to take a few hours to make. But then I have nights where I just kind of feel like playing PCGO just for fun. Just kind of chill out, grind the game for a bit. And those, you know, like, like an hour or two. So yeah, a couple hours a day is usually how much I play PCGO. For to memes? What are you talking about, Hyper? You, your message got retracted. I don't know what that means. Looks like a mirror. Oof. Nope. We're Gucci. The problem is, though, Tauros is a card that no one plays anymore, so they're probably playing basic energy, which is slightly aggravating. Now, let's just play Skyla. I might just get Guzmahala, which is in the deck, right? Okay. Hmm. I might just go Juniper, just guarantee. Yeah, I'm just going to go Juniper instead. Screw it. Why not a Spirit Tomb deck? Meh. There's too many Spirit Tomb decks I have built, Hyper. I do have the ADP Spirit Tomb deck. I think that was your deck idea. I still have that deck build, and I have yet to make a video on it. I knew they were playing basic energy because they're playing a bad deck. Hey, Albert, man. How you doing? You my dude made it to the stream. Yes, you did, Albert. Welcome, bro. Thanks for coming by on today's stream, my brother. Right now, I'm playing some Haunch Crow. Uh, so far, we're hitting some really bad decks. All right, let's go order pad. We're looking for Crushing Hammer. Nope. Rip. This Tauros is super annoying. Alright, we're going to try to Trainer's Mail into what we need. Order Pad. We need to get Crushing Hammer so that we can two-shot this thing. Order Pad, why? I might just wait a turn. That's so annoying. Why are you playing Tauros with basic energy? I hate this game sometimes. ADP too. Yeah, my yeah, I'll play it. Yeah, I'll play it hyper. I do want to show off that ADP Gengar Mimikyu deck I built last night. And they, this guy is starting to cheese me, bro. Like, why are you playing this Tauros deck? I'm just gonna concede. I really don't even have patience for this. I'm gonna get really triggered. I don't want to complain and stuff on stream. I'm just gonna move on before I get really triggered by just bad people, bad bad players, bad decks. I right, just go for heads. Nope. Rip. Now, they are playing a deck with Dragon in it, which sounds pretty good. And there is the turn one Honchkrow. Must be probably... I think every game we start with a Honchkrow in our hand, though, bro. Are you... Come on. Really? I don't even play four. I play three. Like, are you serious? All right, we'll do one more game. And if this game flops, we'll just move on. Been looking forward for this one because I missed the last one. Also, we'll buy some codes within this week from Car Carbon. I appreciate it, Albert. I really do. So, thank you, brother. But, yeah. Good thing you made it. Uh, it's only been half an hour into the stream. I'll probably be streaming for like another hour or so. I'm not really doing anything right now, so we're chilling. Well, most likely, yeah. It's all good though, Albert. If you don't, if you do, it's all good. I appreciate all the support regardless. 
There's a battle comp. I don't know what they're playing here. Not ninja box might be the ah, it might be, but the Keldeo's so random. It might just be another bad deck like that Tauros Gengar deck. Make Executor Rowlet Vileplume Item Lock. Ooh, I don't know about that, Fabian. That deck is very degenerate. You are very different live versus in your videos. Well, yeah, my videos I do tend to put more more of like I tend to be more hyper and more um, energetic in my videos, and I try to be more like. Also, I have to think too with making all my moves. I, I hate recording and making misplays because I know that making misplays in your videos like makes people like get so mad. I should play the DC or whatever. Uh, just wait a turn. Oh, I have to go. All right, Jacob, it's all good. Thank you for coming by on the stream. Out regardless. But yeah, when I'm live, you know, I usually am more laid back. I like interacting with people and stuff like that. But yeah, my videos, I'm more, I put more of a personality on. I don't even know if that made any sense. I try to just be more hyper in my videos. Mew3 Ninja Box, it could be. We'll see. We need to get a silent lab in. There's a heads. What are we getting here? I'm liking Choice Band. But I'm also liking a crushing hammer. Just keep trying to get rid of that Keldeo. Yeah, we're going to hammer. All right, let's get heads again. Busted card. All right, Silent Lab. No, we'll take the Choice Band. Yeah, we'll take Choice Band. We'll probably just end up Juniper in here. I could unfair them, but I think we'll start attacking them. I don't see why not. And before they Ninja Boy into a Tauros GX and then out of nowhere knock me out, which probably can't happen. Yeah, people get mad at everything. Yeah. I... Uh, all my life, I've always been... I've always tended to get mad at video games. So it's something that, like, I can't really control. Like, I've just always just been genuinely, like... I usually do rage at video games. Though I don't, obviously, rage in my videos. But I do... I do tend to rage a little bit in my video. I do tend to rage quite a bit when I play video games. Even now. Just all my life, I've done that. I'm considering buying the alternate craft of battle deck, like, in physical, just for the Jirachis. But I want to ask you... Now that I can catch you on stream, is it possible to buy Jirachis from Cart Crab and Dennis? No, unfortunately, well, no, in real life, I think you can buy IRL cards from Cart Crab and Albert. I think they do have it. But now, there's, there's no uh, there's no way to buy Jirachis and Dennis off of Cart Crab. I don't even think you're allowed to do that on PC2. I think it's against the terms of service to sell cards. Um, there's Silent Lab. I don't think I want to play it, though. All right, let's get another Honchko and play. Yeah, I'm going to wait on playing the Silent Lab just in case the Keldeo... Just in case they feel blur me here. But yeah, I don't think you can buy uh, cards off of... In real life from card. You can't buy cards. But the only way to get it a Dene, I think, would be... Buy Unbroken Bonds. The best way to get Jirachis, though, if you want to literally buy Jirachis off Card Cavern, other than buying team-up packs, or just buying packs to buy, you know, trade for Jirachis, getting those team-up evolution kits guarantees Jirachis. I bought a few the other night just to try because i was really wanting to get another jirachi uh promo and i ended up pulling one i bought three evolution kits i got a charizard and nido queen and i pulled one jirachi so that is one way to buy jirachi is by the team up evolution kits because technically you have uh, you know you don't have bad odds of finding jirachi anyways um i think we're chilling might as well go crushing hammer nope rip all right they probably have a field blower i would not be surprised if they didn't I get mad over Mario Maker, like, terribly mad, but everyone else I usually don't. All my friends get mad, too. All the friends I play with do rage at video games, too. I remember when that Jolteon X was the most sought-after card. Yeah, I remember when Jolteon was super expensive on PDCGO. Same with Shaman, same with Lele. One day to Dene will be this. Well, maybe not. Maybe to Dene might still be good and expanded. But one day to Dene will also lose its popularity and its value. Uh, do you go to real tourneys? Unfortunately, no, Fabian. I used to play in real life. Actually, I do have proof here. Let me just... It's literally right oh, hold on let me find that i have this like league challenge card thing just to just to prove i played in real life here it is so i had this thing way back in the day when i used to play in real life pokemon league at my local card shop and uh yeah i remember uh going my league i, I also still have irl pokemon cards i have like tins full of them I'm going to see if I can find some good stuff. Hold on. Yeah, my room is a mess. Hmm. Where the heck are they? 
Like, just to prove I actually used to play in real life, I actually do want to prove this. I don't know why. Um, my room is literally a mess. I can't find these cards. Uh, what other games do you go hard on other than PCGO? Uh, Fortnite and Call of Duty. Mainly COD Zombies. All the new CODs that have come out, in my opinion, have just been trash. Since Black Ops 3, all the new CODs have just sucked. I see the alt art to Dene from Tag All Stars being a promo making. Yeah, that almost likely happened too, Nico. We'll see though. Okay, so it's better to buy the Necroma Battle Deck for draw cheese. I want to trade the Ultra Necroma for packs. Uh, do they still go for a lot still or decrease? Now, Ultra Necrozma GX is pretty cheap right now. It's still like an all right card, but like it's not as good as it once was. It really, I think all you could literally get an Ultra Necroma for like maybe one or two Cosmic Ghost packs. Plus, there's a promo Ultra Necroma too. Okay, I am still trying to find these cards. Okay, you know what, just to prove, I have actual sleeve. This is a Dragon Shield sleeve. Back in the day, Dragon Shield used to be the ting because Dragon Shield sleeves were uh, the best sleeves to protect your cards. Um, yeah, where are these tins go? Here they are. Okay, this is the tin, I think, with all the good cards. I do have a full art Professor Juniper in a uh, sleeve, too. I don't know where that is, though. Um... These were all cards I pulled from X5 packs. I have this OG rare candy here, and I got this nice red sleeve. Uh, you know what? We'll do another game while I do this, I guess, just to make it interesting. <laughs> you can't use Dragon Shields in Yu-Gi-Oh. Really? But yeah, Dragon Shields are probably the best sleeve to get. Like These are the ones that I always used back in the day when I played. They're just genuinely the best sleeves. And oh no, we hit a mirror match. Either that or playing against a turbo deck with no double, with no, uh, double dragon, which is a bad matchup. Man. But yeah, like, I just have all these tins full of Pokemon cards. Like, I just don't play IRL anymore. Just because, you know, just money and time, I guess. I didn't lose interest. Like, obviously, I'm still interested in the Pokemon. If I could, I honestly would still play Pokemon in real life. But, like, I don't know. You should join them again see if you can win. One day, Fabian. Uh, you can use Dragon Shields for Yu-Gi-Oh! You just need smaller ones since the cards are smaller. What? Oh god, we're playing it as a quad guzzler deck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and you can't you can't double sleeve anymore. Yeah, double sleeve is like not allowed for a while. Okay, well, I highly doubt this matters, but we can lock him here. Okay, hold on. Let's go nest ball for another Murkrow. And just pass. I mean, they're going to be able to hit me here, but they can't one-shot me because they can't play tools. Unless they play beast energy, but they can't even do that either. Yeah, but they are a little more expensive. Yeah, dragon shields were generally more expensive. Oh, they do play ultra ball. So we can hit a few crushing hammers or a flare gun here. We can actually prevent them from doing anything. All right, let's get heads. Bruh. Shunipur it is. Ah, we didn't get a tool card to slow them down. That's what I was hoping we would get. I could try to order pad to two shot them here. Alright, nice. We'll take that. Yeah, we can two shot them, which will work. Because that really matters. But you never know. Maybe their hand has no energy in it. I've seen crazier. All right, I don't really follow the game much, uh, but I do play a lot online. Uh, like, I don't know the Valve stuff. I only watch LDS videos and streams. My favorite Pokemon, dude, no homo. Well, little. That's all good, Albert. Uh, I do appreciate all the support, though, for sure, man. I really do. Hey, is there any way to get back cards uh, which you trade online in PCGO? My lovely brother trade two of my gems for five Celestial Storm. What cards did he trade off at Feeksin? Um, but yeah, there's not really any way to do that. You just you can find the user's name. If you go to trade history, you can see the user's um, name that made the trade with so I guess you can add him and then message him asking for your stuff back I guess like that would work actually I think I'm having um thinking of different sleeve I'm pretty sure I have pink Yu-Gi-Oh dragon shields in my bag right now <laughs> nice all right that was a pretty easy win quad guzzlord who said that deck is bad all right we're actually getting pretty close to the final all right let's just play until we lose the game and then we'll hop over to standard and all right, looks like we hit an Ultra Crossbow deck. Yeah, I think I just watched ULDF. PCO hasn't been the same since Puka left. 
Yep. There's a big puka shaped hole in the PDCGO universe ever since he left. I do feel bad though. He's like, yeah, he's playing alternate Cosmo. Yeah. Right. He sees a dust stone. He's like, oh no, I lost. Now he's gonna be playing basic energy. I know some people have adapted their list to basic energies, and they also play stuff like Wobs. But you lose to Quad Faba, and we have a Skyless. So we guarantee the Haunch Crow, unless somehow we prize both other Haunch Crows, which would be really bad. Drachi and Celebi promo. Yeah, I have messages, but he ignores my messages. Rip my rip my gems. Were they actual like the gem promo versions of those? Because that is a pretty big thing to trade off. Those. The gem promos uh, are pretty expensive. What? Bro, wait, seriously? Alright, well, we'll Skyla anyways. We can still double Haunch Crow here. Yeah, you can see it anyways. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll order the alternate Cosmo deck, uh, then two of them actually. Alright, man. I appreciate it, Albert, if you do get those codes. Hopefully they're in stock actually too in Card Cavern. They might not be in stock. There's a store named Game Planet where I live, and they deliver whatever you buy to them in the same day. If you order like two hours, games, cards, etc. Dang, that's pretty. That's pretty sick. That's some good service. Drachi and Celebi tag team GX. Yeah, that'll never happen though. Unfortunately, Robin. There's some really cool tag team ideas that could have came, but they just stopped making tag teams, which I think is for the best. Because I'm not really a big fan of the tag team meta right now. What do you think about the Hidden Fate set? I think it's a cool set. Back when Hidden Fate was like the most valuable pack in standard it was really fun to just open those and try to pull the shiny cards the chinese are just beautiful the chinese are just awesome stop blowing these across the players i'll try not to big pimpin all right well i'll be right back um i'm gonna meet my mic here i'll be right back i'm just gonna run out quickly to my kitchen get a drink and uh yeah i'll be right back in just probably like a few minutes do i have any like thing i can like put in the background here to like have like an overlay on the stream Let me see. I'm going to go to PNG thumbnails. I just need some random... Okay, there we go. All right, I'll be right back in just a second, guys. All right, we're back. Uh, someone just came home in my house, so that's why I had to kind of run out real quick. I just had to be like, yo, I'm streaming, man. Don't interrupt me. Don't randomly just walk in my room and show yourself on the live stream. Who's bullying Necrozma? I just want to get my cheeky wins in peace. Ooh, we have guess another Guzzlord deck. All right, my mic is on, right? All right, good. Just making sure. Just making sure. Probably against Guzzlord again, rip my opponent. Unless they get a turn one glutton off. Or... Not just a funny idea. Mm. Yeah. Alright, well. Back to it. And they're playing a more turbo wise deck, but we could still win. You never know. You never know. They're not playing Guzzlord. Maybe they are. You never know. But uh, once we get those three final blast packs, I think we'll move into standard and maybe try out some other like quirky decks that I have built. Yeah, this is going to be a little tricky, though, for sure. I'm a little scared of their healing cards, too. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm just going to pass. I mean, it's a pretty solid hand overall, I would say. They don't really don't really need to play Sound Lab, so I think we'll chill. I think we'll uh, chill where we are. I got a tag call. They play Mal and Lana, that's going to be really bad. <laughs> Guzma Hala. This Honchko literally cancels out Guzma Hala. Uh, dude, what do you think about all the changes the game is ongoing with V cards and supporter rule? I'm not really a fan of the supporter rule, Robert. I'm not going to lie. I think the supporter rule is not that good. It makes Welder, you know, a little ridiculous, even though it's already ridiculous, but they're making it even more ridiculous. So I'm not really a fan of the new rule change for sure. 
I'm not really like it's not I mean it's not the worst thing ever but like it's I don't know I'm not really digging the new support rule change I think it's a little bad for the game um even though it does kind of make Dedenne a little more relevant which I guess is fine but like yeah the new support rule change is not that good really order pad what a useless card I'm telling you I think the V cards are kind of lame yeah they're pretty much just GX's but like not GX's <laughs> um I think they're okay though I'll take the Juniper I think they're okay I'll have to see though what impact they make on the game though all right they definitely don't have a Juniper doesn't even matter we're gonna guarantee the second haunch crow I guess I should have nest ball before I did the trainer's move or whatever uh rip two shine this uh, v cards though yeah they're just reskins of GX is pretty much um V maxes I think are cool but like I think they are a little OP in terms of their HP and there's a lot of healing that can work with them that's like my main concern with them but once those big like once my Olana and stuff leaves the format I'm sure they'll be a little more balanced but they did give us a lot of good cards with the new sword and shell set like I think it's healthy for the game like, I think these new sword and shield cards are healthy for the game but like we'll have to see all right what are we getting here sound lab there's the choice band too bad we aren't one shot man no heads have been hit today wow that's unfortunate now see if we can win this game this is not looking too good though uh, v is a GX attack without a GX attack. Yeah, like, literally, it basically just is. <laughs> yeah, it's basically just like an EX card, pretty much, Hyper. It's like they're running out of initials to name the cards. LOL joke. I was thinking something last night when I was editing my uh, ranking all VMAX video, which if you haven't seen the ranking all the VMAX video, I actually put a lot of effort in that video, a lot of editing and like thought went into that video, um, which I just uploaded today. I was thinking how like the borders on the cards have changed colors, like, you know, GX is here, you got like that white border, and then on V cards, there's a black border. Kind of a random thought. Oof, that's not what we're looking for. Alright, if we don't get to dark energy, we're screwed. Alright, we did get one. We'll see if we can win this game. The Starcry Umbreon is definitely getting there. Dang it, we didn't get another Murkrow card. Yikes. This might actually be really bad. I actually don't think we can win this. That is unfortunate. Is anyone else uh, having really hard legs on the stream, Robin? All right, what are we getting here? Can we get a Murkrow? No, Juniper is actually really good, though. They should make a Welder card for every type. Yeah, that would be nice. V is just an EX without power creep. Well, these are pretty good, though. They do have, like, 220 HP. They are pretty bulky. Hmm. We need 100 E damage. So we can win this if we can go into a Murkrow and a Honchkrow. We can still win this. The Gigamax name I'm not a fan of. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't call them Gigamaxes. They call them Vmaxes, but not Gigamaxes. It's a lull meme. Yay, we hit a heads when it's irrelevant. Oh, on stream... I don't know. Well, right now it's sitting on uh, 30 FPS. I don't stream in 60 FPS because it's too hard on my MacBook. Oh, we shouldn't have done that. I can't find Murkrow. Bruh. So that means we lose. That's hella annoying. Man, Expanded is such a weird format. <laughs> we're too... Oh, we're two things off that... Thing. No. All right, we'll do one more game on the Honchko deck. Then we'll hop over into Standard and try out some Standard decks. But yeah, is the stream lagging for anyone? Hopefully it's not. In five years, PC, Joe, HP, and Attack will probably be the same as those fake Chinese Pokemon cards. Probably. They're probably going to keep doing the Power Creep, unfortunately. The Power Creep's probably going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger with each new generation they come out with. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can really do about it. As long as they just make the sets healthy. Like, the Sword and Shield base set, I think, is a healthy set because you know there's really good cards now with um you know quick ball evolution incense juniper being back is pretty good there's a lot it's a healthy set we also have good pokemon shirt shuffle search back i think one of the issues right now with our standard format tag teams can rule because non-tag team decks don't have the same support tag teams have tag teams just have too much support right now it's 
they're just too good right now and too OP. Normal Pokemon don't have the support. So you can kind of see why it's kind of just, it's bad. The quality is inconsistent. Well, on the stream right now, Big Pimpin'? It's not lagging. They should make a patch for every type. I ain't got lag. The stream is perfect. We started YouTube now. It's no longer late. Yeah, it might have been on your side then, Robin. I don't think I've ever had an issue with lag on stream either. So, yeah, I think it was might have just been on your side. Might, yeah, it might have just been like YouTube's app itself. Because YouTube is... It's a really weird app. It's so glitchy. and YouTube sucks sometimes, man. It really does. Well, they're probably not even playing a special energy deck. So, I'm just going to concede. And it's all psychic. Yeah, it's a trash deck. I saw that coming from 10 miles away. Expanded, man. Like, I don't get why people play such bad decks in Expanded and then you run into good decks. I swear, you lose one game in Expanded, your ELO plummets and then it places you against theme decks. I swear that's what happens with Expanded sometimes. You lose one game or you can see one game and your ELO just plummets. Sometimes it's the machine you have. I mean, my MacBook's pretty good. So I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, it just might have just been on YouTube side. If if I do, if you guys ever like get if you ever see the lag though again and like it is on my side, I'll just quickly restart the stream. Or maybe even restart my computer. I don't know. At least water type is gonna get better with the new water moth. Yeah, that's something that also makes sword and shield good. Water type getting good support back is so good. Rip turn one hunch But yeah, water types desperately needed the support because of how good fire types are right now. The Frost Moth is such a cool card. It might make water really good, but water has really bad weaknesses because of cards like, um, uh, what am I saying? Uh, because of cards like, uh, Picarom. Because Picarom can hit, um, Lapras VMAX for weakness and one shot it super easily with no sweat. And water is also weak to grass, and there's stuff like a little exit to rally. Is your ELO just your win rate ranking? Yeah, pretty much. See, like, what am I playing against? <laughs> like, what? See, like, this game is so random. You lose one game and expand it, and you end up playing against people who have never played Pokemon TCGO in their life. Like, you see what I mean, bro? It's like, I don't get expanded. I swear the ELO system is broken. Because whenever I record expanded videos, it's so hard to get games against, like, actual, like, good decks, and I end up just playing against stuff like this. It's like, it's like the most random thing ever. Like, I just don't get expanded. Expanded is a fun format right now, but like, yo, it's just so weird. The ELO system, I think, has to be broken. Yo, LDF, what's your tourney win ratio? How many uh, have you won in a row? I don't know, Albert. Um, I know there's a way you can check to see how many tourneys you won. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know my exact win streak, but I do know that I've done pretty well in tourneys. Um, in the past in PC Joe, just because I just used to grind them with like the most try hard of decks like Archie's Toys or you know Dark Box just to try to grind wins out to get Cosmic Clips packs when they were pretty high in value because a lot of times in Expanded I hate standard turnies. Standard turnies in my opinion are absolute garbage because the decks you run into are just super trash. Um, yeah this is not good. Alright we're Crushing Hammer. Rip. Alright, mean look coming in clutch. But yeah, expanded you'll tend to run into more bad decks than the standard tourneys I find. So I usually just grind to expanded tourneys to try to grind for a high... Just try to grind out cheap wins in expanded just to get free uh, packs from the tourneys. Mine is high in standard bullying kid with Pidgeot to control. Nice hyper. <laughs> That's pretty dirty. I think the fact that Bridget, Power Play, and other cards are not going to work is stupid. It should be written as any Pokemon that takes two of my prizes rather than any EX or GXs. Yeah, that it will be a problem too, Trex Rush. Power Play might drop off in popularity when... Uh, the new V stuff comes out. Bro, what am I playing against? It's like Night March and Marshadow Box mixed together. Like, bruh. Expanded is so weird. Oh, they had a Guzma rip. They can knock me out with Night March, I guess, right? No, they actually can't. So I guess we'll just keep trying to trap this thing with Mean Look. I am scared of that Glaceon GX, though. We actually don't really have a way to deal with Crystal Ray outside of Flare Grunt. But I guess they have to play the certain type of energy. But they probably leave waters. They probably don't even play Prism of Rainbows. Bro, Expanded is so weird. 
Oh, what? Okay. Oh, this is in play. Wow, that is a funny troll. Still, we're drawing poorly, which is not good. So for now, we're going to keep up the trap that Dion see in the active spot until we actually draw a little bit better. This guy must be having a bad day at school. <laughs> I won like three in a row with the Marsh Machamp Marshall Tag Team with Welder and Rainbow Brush. Oh yeah, I remember the deck, Albert. You were recommending me to play it back when Pika Ram was a plague. I actually thought Pika Ram was one of the more... Seriously, you had a VS Seeker in your hand? This guy must have a bad day at school, probably. I uh, would much rather play, would prefer to play against Pika Ram all day than ADP. That's just my opinion. ADP is just hard to counter because you have to find room to counter everything in ADP. Wow, this is uh, this is fun. I love losing to decks like this because of bad draws. Okay, well we can maybe remove all his energy, which we can. Okay, cool. That's at least good. This might do something. We can knock him out if we get a Haunch Crow too. Come on, don't draw a DC to win the game. Not much I can really do with my bad draws, though. We need to draw something, though. Even if we get an order pad, we can guarantee a head, maybe, and get a dust stone. Because we can knock him out with Haunch Crow. When we get Haunch Crow in play, I think we'll be in a good spot. Alright, we need to draw something here to guarantee we don't lose. Hey, there we go. In before I prize all three Haunch Crows. We could unfair them too next turn, which is pretty good. The top deck of the lifetime. And now we're back in the game, most likely. Maybe not. <laughs> nope, I don't go to school anymore and why attack me anyways. I don't think he was talking about you, Albert. I think he was talking about the guy I was playing against. Because I was kind of saying how, like, his deck is random. It's like a mix of, like, Marshadow Box and Night March. It might just be him. I don't know. Hopefully there's no beef in the chat, guys. If there is, then just don't, don't beef, please. Keep it civil. Okay, now we can win the game because we actually drew the Dust Stone. I'm still a little scared of Crystal Ray, though. Okay, so we can unfair him here, which I might actually do instead of just attacking. Though getting damage on this thing is nice. I don't really know, but we can always Guzma up. See, we draw. Ooh, ooh! We can knock this marsh shadow out. We might as well just do that instead. I'm gonna keep this in play because it's actually kind of helping us. We can't get poisoned or confused. That's pretty clutch. There we go. We got an order pad and an enemy's neighbor. So I can order pad for uh, trainer's mail to try to get me a supporter. No beef. Sorry, Albert came off mean. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, just make sure there's no beef in the chat, guys. But it's all Gucci. As long as it's all Gucci, then I'm all Gucci. All right, we win here, pretty much, right? We can even we can order Pepper via Seeker too and just knock this out. Uh, v card will be good for Keldeo though. That little horse is untouchable. Yeah, that's my issue with playing against ADP. It's like not only do you have to counter Arceus Delgapalkia, which has insane healing behind it and it's hard to beat, and then you have to deal with Keldeo. So if you're playing a GX focused deck. You have to have a way to counter Keldeo. It's so, like, I just hate that right now. <laughs> I've said it before, but I just don't like that. Don't like it one bit. Ooh, he gets rid of... Okay, I don't know why I would get rid of the stadium. Oh, well, I guess he can still do rap. Okay. Oh, no, he can't do rap. He can triple poison me. Or maybe not. And that's game. Okay, that was a bit of a weird match. That was a weird game. But, uh, yeah. And we get 50 coins. And we can get those three Plasma Blast packs. And then we'll hop into Standard. We can play some decks. I do have a deck built uh, for tomorrow's video that I've already recorded. It is going to be on the new Decidueye we got. And it's Decidueye Cricketune. The whole idea is use Cricketune's attack, spread for 30, and then follow up with Tracking Shot. That's the whole idea of that deck. And I already recorded the video. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to order the Alternate Chroma Battle decks with me, Luck. Hopefully they're in stock, Albert. We can even buy a pack from the shop here. I'm pretty much low on packs right now because I've spent all my packs recently on Secret Energy. So, like, I'm not really trying to trade on pubs. So, let's just open up the Cosmic Eclipse pack. pack. Ooh, I'm talking too fast. Open up the Cosmic Eclipse pack first. I have yet to pull a full tag team supporter. 
Now will be the best time to get it. No, we get a Swoobat. Yeah, great pack. All right, now let's open up these Plasma Packs. Now, if I can get Secret Execute or Secret Rare Candy, that will make my day. Make Guardian with Spirit Tomb the best of both worlds, anti ADP and one prize attacker. That would be a meme. Um, oh, sheesh. Okay, not the secret I wanted. That's still pretty freaking good. Oh my gosh. All right, are we going to pull another good card? That was a sick pull. It actually did technically need another Dusnor because I only had one. That's the first. Uh, yeah, Pogs indeed. That is a Pogger pull and a half. Okay, well, I'll take it, bro. That dust snore is pretty lit. And I didn't need the second one technically, too, because I only had the one. So that was a pretty sick pull. Dang, brother. That is a nice card to pull. I Hold on. Was Execute even in... Was I, is Execute even in Plasma Blast? Or is it Plasma Freeze? No, it is Plasma Blast. Execute has gone up quite a bit, too. It's like 25 packs now, I think. All right, we'll hop into Standard now, and uh, we'll... Uh, Play some standard decks because we've played a lot of Honchko. So we'll play this Cricket Tune Decidueye deck I have built. Um, so I recorded the video already, and in the video I actually forgot to put Netball in the deck. And I was like recording my deck explanation, and then I completely forgot I put Netball in. And I was like, bruh. But the, the games were both really good. Like, even without Netball, the deck played well, and I got two really cool games against um, with this deck. The first game was pretty sick, and the second game I played against the Persian... Um, checkmate deck and it was a really nice game so even though i forgot to put one card in the deck the deck still played pretty well on the video and it was still a pretty entertaining video i would say even without netball but now we had netball in the deck looks like we're playing against the charizard team up deck that's actually not great for us i would say we'll see though That Dustnor pull is hype. Maybe now it, I gotta make a Dustnor spread deck. Maybe now I gotta make Cricketune Dustnor because the Poke Gods gave me the Dustnor pull. Okay. We got the Jirachi start. He's probably playing Absol though, which is kind of a problem. So I guess we just have to be ready for that. And we gotta hope they're not playing Mew either. This deck is cool and all, but as soon as your opponent benches a Mew, this deck just starts just. It turns to trash. How does Persian Checkmate work? It's a crazy deck. It's like, I don't even know how it works. I haven't played it yet, but like, it's like, use Persian, use an Agandal, Stinger Engine, and you set up damage with like Roxy, and I think you try to win the game, and he has Mew, but he starts with it though, so we can maybe knock it out. No. Mew in play, not gonna happen. He's just gonna retreat. All right. Um, but yeah, the deck is really weird, and then you like, you set damage up with Roxy, use Tyrogue, which... Uh, flip the coin of heads, you put 3 damage on something. It's a really interesting deck. He started with it. I know, that just makes me even sadder. If I was going first, maybe I could have stalled it out, but like... He would have just retreated it, and then I would have had no way to deal with it. Maybe he would have kept it active though, because I guess he didn't know what I was playing. I don't know, I'm just not even going to bother with that game. I don't even think that like, matchup is winnable. The only way I could see us winning, we would have to attack with Krikachun every turn, and knock him out with 130 damage and oh what the okay i'm in for i'm in for a surprise adp tomb i told you yeah after this i'll play it hyper okay we're in for a surprise here he's got will and lieutenant surge i don't know what fighting pokemon he's using so i guess we'll just be in for a shock here See, we draw. Ooh, okay, that gives us Drachi. And oh, a Pikachu. Okay. I don't know what the fight energy is for then. What does this thing even do? Not really anything. Eh, well, okay. It's got 160 HP, so it gets knocked out by two tracking shots. You'll love to see it. you love to see it. The birds are good too because Cricketune. Okay, so we're going to have to go here. We're going to have to get another Rowlet. We're not going to go into Jirachi for now because our hand is not that great. All right, we prize a Decidueye. We got one Cricketop prize, but we do have our Ditto, though, which is good. Have you tried Nuzzle with Surprise Reshiram? Not yet, Lord. I I wanted to do a video on that, but, like, I don't know. Everyone else kind of already did a video on it, and I was like, eh. No, nah, I don't really see a point of doing a video on it because, like, not the same it's about views, but like the deck's already been done enough on YouTube that it's like I don't even know the video will get that many views or it won't even do that well on my channel. You know what I mean? It's just I don't know. 
I mean, it's a weird reasoning, I know, but, like, it's kind of the truth. It's not like I only care about views. It's just, like, yeah, like, the videos are... The game, the next already kind of been done enough on YouTube. So, I don't know. But I, I could try it out eventually. It's a cool idea. Uh, I'll definitely maybe revisit that archetype. Because I think that archetype will be around for a while. So, I can definitely, like, revisit it when, like, Sword and Shield comes out or something. Especially because being that lightning type means you actually do have some sort of an advantage against, um... Uh, what's his face? Lapras. Okay, so... This turn, we're trying to go Cricketune. I think we'll get that Shrine. I think we just go for Cynthia. Yeah, we'll just Cynthia. We just need to get Cricketune. There we go. I'll put back the Rowlet. Get the Cricketune. And then we just have to figure out a way to move Jirachi and start spreading for 30 because we want to get damage on these Pidgeotos. Hey, Fury, how have you been? I've been doing good, Richard, man. How are you doing? Thank you for stopping by on the stream. Have you ever pulled out the Supreme Puff? Yeah, I have, Fabian. In the uh, Iggly Buff Cleffa video, the baby trio I did with in Expanded with Reggie Rock and uh, Ninja Boy, I did pull it off in the video. I think I pulled it off twice. can't remember how many games I recorded for that video. But I have pulled it off. Not in Standard, though. Only in Expanded. But I know in Standard it can work with Hat Ladies. Okay. I really don't know what they're playing, though. Like, I'm so... I guess they're playing, like, an agility... Oh, okay, I see. They're using Dojo to do more damage with agility, and they have Electro Power. Oh, okay, makes sense. Do not get a Mew. <laughs> Screw off with this stupid Mew. <sighs> That's really annoying. Still, though, I think we can win by just going through Pikachu. This thing is toxic, though. Toxic Mew. Mew is a toxic card. I guess the only way to deal with it would be go with our Mew. And, uh... I think I'm going to try to knock out this Mew before he knocks me out. Because this stupid thing is in the way, and I need to knock it out. What up, man? Yo, Adam Mo, how you doing, man? Thank you for coming by on the stream. I'm doing good. I'm just currently right now just kind of playing Cricketune Decidueye. And so far, we've ran into two decks that played Mew, which is making me salty. Um, all right. So we just got to hope Mew lives, and we can knock out their Mew, and then we can start spreading Cricketune. Sounds good. Been good. I made a proxy of Lapras VMAX. I made it thanks to PC Joe Stores, who had a skeleton of the deck. Nice. Yeah, the Lapras VMAX deck might be better than the Snorlax deck. Um, if you have, if, if none of you guys have checked out the ranking all VMAXs and top five V cards video that I just uploaded today, make sure to check it out. The video is kind of weirdly underperforming on my channel. I don't know why. Um, I think YouTube's is broken today because I feel like the video would have done better. But if you haven't seen the video, make sure to go check it out and maybe drop a like on it. But I'm starting to think that Lapras VMAX is better. Okay, yeah, see, YouTube is so freaking broken. Okay, just to prove things. I'm looking at it right now. The video has 9 likes, yet before I started streaming, the video had like 12 likes. YouTube is so bro- I'm thinking about deleting the video and re-uploading it, even though I don't have the video file on my account anymore. But yeah, see, YouTube is the most broken site on the planet. It actually triggers me. You know, before they play El Rod or another Mew. But yeah, it just, I don't, I don't get YouTube, man. The video had 12 likes before I started streaming and now it just has nine likes. And I don't think people, I like, I've never met someone who've ever unliked a video. I, YouTube is so, it's so frustrating, dude. And I put a lot of effort in that video too. So it really sucks that the video is like glitching and underperforming. It's actually like, Yo, man, what about YouTube? Uh, also, how is your ranking video? Uh, no, it's in the active if now you put damage counters. I'm so confused. Sorry, I have yeah, I kept on. I need, ooh, I need to catch up on chat. I didn't uh, know you had a ranking video today. Yeah, I do. The ranking videos do really well on my channel. Literally, all the ranking videos I've done are like one of the most viewed videos on my channel. So that's why it's like, okay, they do well enough. We might as well keep uploading them. And then, for some reason, the one today is underperforming really badly and it's glitching out and randomly losing i'm done i knew he was gonna be playing more than one mute like why yo at this point i don't know what to tell you but its ability prevents uh prevent damage done to your bench yeah you can still hit it with side power but you can't use damaging attacks like improvational performance why is he playing two mews that's actually triggering okay well we might live here which is good 
No, he had an electro power. Wait, no, he didn't. What the heck? How's he doing more damage? Oh, the dojo. <sighs> Alright, did he get the ability activated? Yes, he did. Alright, what am I getting here? Rosa, maybe? Did Rosa confuse him? We need three cards to confuse them. I think we'll just take Cynthia. How was your day today? Oh, it's going good, Mina. How's yours going? I'll watch it later, and I can't wait until you made the ranking GX video. Yeah, the ranking videos do well. It's just the one today just flopped, which is upsetting. All right, Cynthia. But yeah, the new video is ranking all the VMAXs, and I do a top five V cards in that video, too. Okay, we actually can't even attack with Krikatoon and do 30. Wow. Guess we're just going to go into Jirachi again. Take Doll, maybe? Yeah, I'll take the Doll. Busted deck, though. The two Mew is kind of annoying, not going to lie, but busted deck. I don't know. Maybe I should just delete this deck because apparently when I try to play it, everyone just plays Mew. <sighs> ah, man. This is not my day today. It really isn't. Two Mews in one deck. That is PDCGO for you. But yeah, I just... I don't know. It's just really upsetting to see this ranking VMAX video underperform like that. Just because YouTube's broken, randomly loses likes out of nowhere. Like, bro, how does that even happen? YouTube sucks, I swear. It's sick, it's fun, it's cool to upload videos, but YouTube is so glitchy and broken, it's actually ridiculous. This Mew is actually cheesing me, too. Because it's making this game unwinnable. I'm just going to concede. I, this deck is... I'm deleting this deck, I swear. <laughs> is this not my day today? It's really not my day. It's actually kind of making me upset. All right, let's just go to ADP Spirit Tomb. Let's just play a cheesy deck. No, nope, not, not, not playing no fun rogues today. People play two Mews nowadays. That deck's getting deleted later. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just really triggered right now. <laughs> uh, the Mew prevents damage like sniping, like Tag, Volt, and Coco. But when you... Yeah, that's... Yeah. But he, of course, he had two Mews in the deck. Like, bro, why? Yeah, hope you have a good Christmas. Yo, Kyle, man, how you doing? Long time no see, man. I haven't seen you since high school, bro. But yeah, thanks for coming by on the stream, man. All right. Pretty good start, I would say. We're playing against a Psychic Disc. Could be Malamar. You scared of the cop a lot? Eh, not really, Fabian. At first, I was... Um, at first, I was scared of Coppa because I was like, oh, no, Coppa's going to... Uh, Coppa's going to kill the channel, but... Uh, Pokemon technically falls under general audience, which is, which is an option for Kappa. Um, but unfortunately, YouTube are hiding that option. But Pokemon technically is safe, so I'm not too up, not too worried about Kappa. Um, I mean, I think Pokemon will be safe. I think the FTC confirmed like games like Pokemon and stuff are safe from Kappa, so we'll just have to see. There's Catic Swell. That's pretty good. And yeah, we'll just pass, I guess. I don't really want to play Spirit Tomb down because of spell because of spell tag. What's Kappa? Uh, Kappa is a uh, what's it? It's it's an FTC law that's gonna be on you that's on YouTube right now where it's something to do with like kids and advertisement. It's so much to talk about on that end. Um, ooh. Okay, this thing definitely needs to get knocked out by Spirit Team then. Um, and then also on top of that, Kappa will indeed be hitting every kid-friendly channel. So if you upload kid content, your channel is going to be affected by Kappa. Um, and you have to now, on your videos, you have to say if it's for kids or not for kids. The problem is YouTube hid the general audience option where your video is for everyone, which is fine in Kappa. If your videos or your content or whatever you do is in the general audience section, you're technically safe. But YouTube didn't put that feature on, which is kind of snake and scumbaggy. But Pokemon, Fortnite, Minecraft, they're all general audience things, so they technically are safe from Kappa. But yeah, YouTube are just scumbags and hid that option. 
it's been exposed by a, a, a like a YouTube lawyer, like a, no, sorry, a lawyer that you know, a, a lawyer that has a YouTube channel. He exposed Kappa, so we can double rainbow. I really hope alter creation works. I've heard that this this is this is glitched. Gotta hope not. Gotta hope not. We better be taking extra prizes now. So I have a chance to get a job at uh, Huawei. Uh, so I can I can <laughs> I can read that, Mina. Uh, but it would uh, block a bit of my school. What is your option? Or uh, your opinion? Sorry. I mean, it depends on how well the job pays. Like school is always great. You can always go back to school at any time you want if you think about it. Even though, like, yeah, it is weird being in it at all going into a going to college with like you know a bunch of older people. Um. But I mean, if I, I mean, if it's if it's available to you and it pays well enough, I would take it, Mina. But it really depends. Okay, so I think we can kill them here, Spirit Tomb. We can tag call for the broken Mallow and Lana. I will have to get Secret of Water soon. Right now, I'm getting Secret of Fire. Currently, I have six of them. I have five right now, Richard. Um, I'm actually also thinking about getting Secret of Waters because of how good Frost Moth is. And how much I think Secret of Water Energy is going to go up in value. Like Secret of Water Energy is probably going to increase a lot in value. And same with Metal Energy. I think people have already caught on to Metal Energy going up in value. Because it's already seen a lot of um, seen a lot of people buy it on. Um, its value has already gone up again. But like Secret of Metal Energy and Water I think are two great investments. Because of how um, expensive they'll be. Because of Zacian and uh, the new Metal Saucer card. Okay, Altered Creation did not glitch. That is good. Just pulled a full art Guzman Hollow. Yo, nice, Chris. I remember when Guzman Hollow was a lot more, um, was a lot more, uh, cheaper. It was, like, six packs. I remember I got it for really cheap back in the day because it was cheap. And then all of a sudden, Guzman Hollow, you know, people realize it's actually a pretty good card. And then its value went up. So I'm glad I got it a little cheap. But that's a great pull, Chris. Let's go then, freak it, dude. I mean, if it pays well enough, Mina, might as well take it. Okay, so ADP Spirit Tomb, pretty busted. Uh, I definitely will do a video on that. Um, I'm going to try this ADP Gengar Mimikyu deck now. I think Gengar Mimikyu is pretty cool because of how many items people can have in their hand right now. Heyo, yo Spot Norb, how you doing man? Thanks for coming by on the stream today. How you doing man? Working and studying difficulty also uh, depends on the distance between each. I tried it, but the distances were far away between the both and couldn't keep up. I mean, if it's online and stuff, Mina, that'd also be pretty good. Like online school. I'm assuming that's what it would be if you... If you're still going to be in that school when you're in a different place like that, it might work out. Yeah, I don't know, though. Thanks, man. Anytime, Chris. But yeah, congrats on that pull. Congrats on the pull, dude. That's sick. I have yet to pull a full art tag team support out of Cosmic Cliff Packs. I've opened up maybe, what, well over 100 Cosmic Cliff Packs at this point, in all honesty. I definitely opened up more than 100 Cosmic Cliff Packs. I will right, we'll play down the Absol. Yeah, I've been thinking of that too. Zacian V seems to be the better of the V. And for Secret Rare Water, Lap Price of Frost Moth. Exactly. That's why I was like, okay, Metal Energy and Water are cheap. They're both like around like 36 ish, 35 ish packs right now. Both energies are like kind of the same value right now. But Comet, Sword, and Shield, I can see both of them, maybe more water than Metal in my opinion. But I can see both of them going up to like the value of Secret Rare um, Metal Energy. Or no, Secret Rare Fire Energy, sorry. Fire Energy might decrease too, possibly. I was talking to someone I know who's, um, who, like, is with, like, card values and stuff, and, like, he's rich and knows all, like, card values, and he himself said, like, competitive decks don't increase the value of your cards. I don't really agree with that. I think it's the other way around. I think competitive things do increase the value of your cards. Um, okay, this is a bad hand. <laughs> no rip. Okay, well, good thing he didn't do anything last turn, so we're chilling. When will Secret of Fire Energy get good? I, I don't know, Eric. That's the problem. It's cheap. It's like the, I think it's the cheapest energy right now, apart from Psychic. I'm sorry, Psychic's not any more expensive because Psychic is such a popular type. Um, Secret Fighting, I think, will get good in like maybe I don't know. Like we just haven't really had a, like a dominant fighting deck. I think back when Buzz Buzzwool GX was good, I think Secret Fighting would have been a great card. But yeah, right now it's just it's like 20 packs. Maybe with Snorlax V Max, it might go up in value. We'll have to see. Like I think Pika and Snorlax V Max both are going to be decent with Sword and Shield. So that might increase its value. I pulled a full Rose Rosuke real life. Don't think it's a good card though. Yeah, unfortunately Fabian, it's not that great. However, it is still 
a cool card. I actually think Roller Skater is kind of underrated. Not in every deck, but some decks. Is Umbreon Espeon GX still decent? Which one? Umbreon Dark or Espeon Deoxys? Yeah, yeah, that's... I was just saying the regular Umbreon Espeon. Uh, not really. I mean, Espeon GX's Divide is cool, but you'd rather use Cross Divide. But uh, Umbreon GX, yeah, it's not as good anymore. The whole hit and run aspect of it and, like, the attacks are just not as good. Hopefully we can draw something here, though. The Ninetales and Keldeo are a little frustrating, but we do have Drampa. We do have that Grandpa Drampa. I think Drampa might be the only counter we have, unfortunately. We need to get this altered creation off. Okay, there we go. Cynthia might help us. I would play a Choice Helmet, but I actually might need it for Drampa. Okay, there we go. We got the IDP, but we didn't get the energy to go with it. That's an issue. That is an issue. We didn't get the uh, proper energy to go with it. Because all we need to do is knock this out, knock this out, we win the game. I mean, I guess we should still attach... Just to be ready for Ultimate Ray. And we don't really have a choice. We're just kind of chilling right now, unfortunately. It's a good thing they don't have any energy in play. That could have been really bad. Alright. Alright, get back into the chat. Have you played Persian Checkmate? Not yet, Garbuckle. Uh, in tomorrow's video, though, on the Decidueye Cricketoon deck, I did play against the Persian Checkmate deck. It's a pretty interesting match, too. But I haven't played it yet. I might get around to it. Do you think that Rillaboom will be used in a Lolan Egg and Rally decks with his ability? Oh, for sure. I think Rillaboom will see play. And with Fire maybe getting weaker with Frostmoth, we could see the rise of, you know, Grass decks finally. So maybe Secret Grass Energy Sun to invest in? I don't think it'll go up that much. I think Water and Metal are going to be where the money's at. What's your favorite Evolution GX and Expanded that's also not in Standard? Ah, uh, Glaceon maybe, Eric? I would say Glaceon. Yes, yeah, Steph, invest in Alolan Eggs. And Alolan Eggs is decent, too. I think it's kind of underrated even right now in our format. As weird as that may be. Uh, I'll take the Pokecom. Alright, let's see what we're looking at here. Hmm. We'll take the Escape Board. So we need to get an Energy here. We're going to have to go for... I could Guzman Hala. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go Guzman Hala. It's going to guarantee the energy. We'll get rid of Reset Stamp and Pokecom. Get these three bad boys. Old Choice Helmet. I don't know. I do want to save that for Drampa, though. Because with Choice Helmet on Drampa, then Keldeo struggles to one-shot it. Whoops, I didn't mean to retreat. Yeah, whatever. We have the escape board. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yes, this deck is maximum bling. Yeah, I try to bling myself out. I think I am missing, um, really, I have only three of these team-up Jirachis, but yeah, I do try to bling myself out. All right, got to get back to work, was on my lunch break, see you next time. All right, Fabian, it's all good, man. Thanks for coming by on the stream for as long as you did. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Yo, what's up? Hey, yo, Timmy, man, how you doing? Thanks for coming by, dude. There's a lady. I don't know what they're playing. I guess they're using Slow Duck, too. It's a miracle and a half. They haven't gotten a water energy in play yet, though. Gengar Mimic is going to slap here, too, but I don't think we need it. Stellar Wish. Take the Rosa. All right, we're going to Caitlyn Cynthia here. We're going to hope for a water energy. Let's get rid of the Chaotic Swell. We're going to hope for a water here. Didn't find it. There's Drampa, though. We'll definitely bench him now just to get him in play. We'll put the skateboard on it. Or the, 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 the choice helmet, sorry. Okay, we just can't find this water energy here to do Alter Creation, but it's whatever. Snorlax VMAX with buff padding and that expanded stadium that give your evolution Pokemon more HP will be stall. Oh, yeah, you could stall with that. That is true, Eric. <laughs> Yo, Nick, how you doing? How you doing, man? Thanks for coming by on the stream. 
Uh, what do the ladies do? And oh, yo, what? Yo, Albert, is that a fifty dollar donation? Oh my God, bro, you're insane, yo. I'm just glad we have a discard and draw. Yeah, same. But oh my God, yo, everyone in the chat right now, give my boy Albert love. Show him as much love as you can. Oh my God, bro. Thank you for the donation. If that is a fifth dollar donation, um, wow, yo, you are insane, dude. You are insane. I'm good. How's your deck doing? It's, uh, is it really good? Has it gotten some wins? That's my first time playing the uh, deck, Timmy. There's the water energy. Nice. But yeah, dude, thank you so much, Albert. Huh, no, that's fifty Mexican pesos, bro. Oh, okay. But yeah, it doesn't matter, bro. Any money is fine. You could be a, it could be literally be a dollar, and I'd still appreciate it a ton, dude. Thank you, man. I really do appreciate that. You are indeed the goat. Thank you, dude. I really do appreciate it. Don't have that much, bro. It's all good, though, Albert. But yeah, thanks, man. I do appreciate the donation. Any amount of money. It doesn't even matter if it's a dollar, man. I do appreciate it. But everyone in chat, show my boy Albert some love. But yeah, thanks, bro. Thank you, dude. Let's see what he's trying to do. Because I'm weak to fairy, but we'll just uh, get a Malon Lana here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Ultimate Ray, and then we're going to Custom Catcher out the Keldeo, knock it out with Drampa, and go from there. We do need to get Malon and Lana, though, at some point. Uh, looks like a unique build of ADP. Never seen it play with Drampa. Everyone's playing uh, Drampa right now, though, Timmy, in their ADP decks. But this is actually not a normal ADP deck. Indeed, this is a different version of ADP. I'm playing ADP with Gengar Mimikyu. Yes, you heard right. Gengar Mimikyu. Malolana, no. What am I taking here? I think the Pokecom. No, I'll take the Great Catcher. What do the ladies do? What ladies, Robin? <laughs> One Drampa to have an Anjik Secretary. Exactly. That's uh, pretty much what this is here for. But the whole idea of this deck is using Gengar Mimikyu, but since we can't really use it in this matchup that much, uh, we can't really use it right now. Oof, two energies. I don't like that. So we can we can knock out Quagsire and then knock out Keldeo. Yeah, let's do that. Seems pretty good. So we need two or more different energies. We just go Psychic and Metal Energy on this. But yeah, I am playing Gengar Mimikyu with ADP. The whole idea is is because I think Gengar Mimikyu is pretty underrated right now because of like Green's decks and Wilder's decks always like having just massive hands full of trainer cards. It actually makes it really easy for Gengar Mimikyu to hit high numbers. And with the support of ADP, you can hit little bit stronger and it can uh, be a pretty big force to rec be reckoned with what are the best cards to invest in right now before the new set secret water g den agx secret metal energy that's about it really those are like the three main ones oh the hat ladies oh when you have when you have all in your hand and you play morgan you can look at the top 12 cards of your decks touch any basic energy you find there to your pokemon any way you like what decks are you looking forward to playing upon sword and shield release lapras frost mom 100 percent um, Zacian looks pretty cool too. There's a lot of cool decks, but I think the main one might just be Lapras Frostmouth, even though everyone will be on that. But I'm excited to get that. 50 pesos is two dollars, but still, Lara, you're the man. Yeah, yeah, it didn't matter, man. Any amount of money, man, it's appreciated. It really is. But yeah, I do appreciate it a lot, Albert. Again, any amount of money doesn't matter if it's a dollar or not. A donation makes my day. It really does. I thought that was fifty dollars at first, but nah. My it said MX before the fifty, but uh, yeah, I do appreciate it, Albert. Even if it is, you know, you know, two dollars, it's still appreciated a lot. It really is. Okay, so we have game here. Unless he miraculously knocks me out, we could see him maybe attack with a resolute blade, which would actually screw me over. So I don't think we can win after that. And nope, just for being 160. And that is going to be game. And there's that Malo and Lana we needed. So we're doing 170 on the dot. But yeah, this uh, ADP Gengar Mimikyu deck. Didn't really get to use it too much. Oh, we're only taking three prizes. That's right, derp. Okay, we still have two customs left, right? 
Yeah. Why did I think we were taking four prizes on the Keldeo? Okay, we have Cryagonal too. <laughs> now I feel bad. Let me send some more. And I'm not going to stop Yelbert, but at the same time, I'm not going to be like, yeah, give me money. You know what I mean? But if you do, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, seems like it will be good. Frostmoth bringing Deluge back to stage one. Yeah, Frostmoth is OP. It might honestly kill off Archie Soyce too, to be honest with you. Even though Archie Soyce still has the advantage of going first and being able to get that turn one delusion play, doing stuff like turn cross vision. How often do you stream? Really, whenever I can, Nick. I don't really have like a set schedule, um, but I do want to stream more now during the Christmas holiday break, which is what you know I'm in right now. Plus, we'll have to evolve. Plus, we will have evolution incense. I'm wondering though, would Ditto work on Vmax? Yeah, I wonder that too, Richard. Some of the Japan lists have come out though, so we'll never know. And oh my gosh, this time. 500 pesos okay i don't know how much that is albert 550 yeah i don't know but anyways i appreciate any donations bro <laughs> everyone once again hit him in the chat with some hearts uh where is it but yeah thanks albert for the donation <laughs> okay so we kind of screwed this game up a little bit i thought for some reason we're taking eight prizes on this however we just gotta go double custom and we win which we can get there all right we can still win this i think Alright, we Rosa. We can attack with Giraffe Rake too. Alright, we can still win this game. The epic $26. Oh, is it $26? Holy. Thank you, Albert, man. Oh my gosh. You are a legend. My guy, you are a legend. Alright, here we go. We need the... But yeah, thank you, Albert. I'm trying to focus and, you know, kind of thank you at the same time, but it's like crazy. Anyways, so we need to get custom. No, didn't get it there. We can surprise box him. What will we give him back? Nothing, really. Okay, what am I doing here? Can't do Malin Lana anymore. I think we just hit him with Cryagonal for 40. I think we need to burn some cards here. All right, here we go, frozen lock. Whopping 40 damage, but you know what? It makes all the difference. <laughs> but yeah, man, I do appreciate it, Albert. I really do. <laughs> all right. So our wing edition is literally just find our last custom piece. We'll see if we can get there. I am a little, like, if we get stamped, I think we might lose if we get stamped. Even with two drops in play, getting reset stamped would not be ideal. <laughs> but Craig and Oak can buy some time. He, he can't reset stamp me when we frozen lock, so we might have to worry about it. Kaylin, Cynthia. He can get back that Koga, maybe. He could knock me out this turn, too, with a Quagsire. But then he loses, so like he can't. Mm hmm. There's that Coco Strap I was talking about. We can mount Lana here, but then he knocks me out with 90 with the Orbeam and Coco Strap. Alright. So we're gonna have to. Guzman Hala, I would say. I don't wanna play Cynthia. I think we just got a frozen lock until we find the uh, reset or the reset the uh, custom catcher piece. We have eleven cards left. Guzma Hala, maybe we can thin. I don't even know if we have anything left, but I think it's still good in case we get reset stamped. We'll get rid of the Gengar and the ADP. Or I guess we can Malalana still. Maybe we just go for the Malalana then. We can build up for Absol, which wouldn't knock it out. I don't think sixty ninety. No, Absol would actually knock him out. All right, we can build up Absol then too, I guess. And we Malolana into Jirachi. We'll still get knocked out, but it's fine. We can thin our hand down, and we can also try to dig for that last custom piece. We have, like, how many cards? We didn't find it? What? Okay, we'll take the choice on it then. It's a bit of a rip. We have another attempt at it next turn, though, so it's all Gucci. Yeah, we're just going to say, hey, you cannot do reset stamp. Should have built up Absol a long time ago, though. But this Craig is definitely saving me. Alright, let's see what my opponent does now. 
They're playing a really weird deck though, but hey man, you know what? They put up a fight. Those two GX blocking Pokemon were pretty scary. But uh, we can go double Drachi next turn, and then we have two shots at getting this custom catcher piece. And even if we don't, we can build up Absol slowly. So I think we're still Gucci to win the game regardless. I think we're still Gucci. Should have built Jirachi slap for the KO. Oh my gosh, you are so right. You are so right, Richard. Yo, chat got quiet. Yeah, I don't know about that, Albert. I don't know why, but uh, you are so right, Richard. You are very... He, uh, yeah, all right, okay. You know what, Richard? It's all Gucci, though. We drew the right card. All right, you know what? Just, just in case we made the mistake twice. All right, we're good. Okay, that was a bit of a weird game. I definitely played this game really badly. I, I made so many weird misplays. Thinking that the Keldeo gets knocked out for four prizes was stupid. But we still won the game. We didn't get to use my boy Gengar Mimikyu. That's fine, though. Kragonal kind of came in clutch there at the end. But this deck seems kind of fun. Okay. We'll try another deck now. Um, hmm, what is there to play? I do have this uh, Sylveon Malamar deck build. I know people don't like Malamar. But this is not a normal Malamar deck. The whole idea is using Sylveon. With all the big dragons right now, we can use Sylveon's attack beloved Pulse, which can do 160 if you play a tag team supporter from your hand. And then we have Caitlyn Cynthia's and Guzma Hollow. We have four Caitlyn Cynthia's to be exact. So this is the idea of the deck. Let's play it just for the meme. I don't know how good it is, but I have it. I've had it built for a few days now. I'm like, all right, let's play the deck and see how it works. And we didn't run into a dragon deck, it looks like. Unless, well, they could be playing Nuzzle, but I doubt it. They're probably playing Mewtwo. We do have an ability charm, I think. Can't remember, though. All right. Where'd my phone go? There it is. I got no new messages. Rip. All right, my opponent's got a hello. We'll give him back the hello. We got an Eevee and Ditto start. I think we're going to have to start with Eevee here, unfortunately. Yeah, let's, I mean, if we're playing as Mewtwo, we have to do with the Tina. But I'd like to use Sylveon, though. I'd like to use Sylveon. There is a stupid fly in my room. Ooh, Trevnor. They're playing, it looks like, the DGG Malamar list. We have a turn one Erica here. And they're probably going to be able to build up their bench, so we could probably get a nice Erica going. We'll see how that goes. They might not see the Sylveon, and maybe they'll bench a Naga Guzzlord, which would be a really cool card because we can get easy prizes on that. You know what I mean? There's a Viridian. There's a Switch. Do they have a Lily? No, they have a Cynthia. Okay. Cool beans. Alright, they play one more Pokemon down, though. We can get a bigger Erica here. Uh, we'll Pokecom probably for an NK, maybe. Or maybe get another Eevee, depending if we get knocked out or not, which is highly likely. So, I don't know. Yeah, they got the escape board. So it's probably best for us to maybe get another Eevee here to attack with Sylveon. Yo, that money is for coffee and packs. Yeah, it's definitely for coffee. I have a coffee every day, Albert. Yeah, I don't know if any of you guys know what Tim Hortons is, if any of you guys are from Canada or not. Uh, but I have a Tim Hortons coffee like almost every day. Hey, there we go, Drew Jirachi. Okay, so we'll Pokecom. Put back Malamar. We'll get an Inkay. We need to just build up Inkays, I think. And uh, we'll get ourselves an energy here. Going to Jirachi. We do have to watch over that Trevnor, though. That's why I don't really like using Jirachi here. Go Erica. Nothing too great. We can Pokecom again, though. I think I'm going to get another Jirachi. Just in case he does attack me here with uh, Nightwatch. Which is highly likely. Keldeo GX or Keldeo VO? I think I want to keep Keldeo GX in the proxy because that gives me the option of Kel his GX tech um, thanks to Frost Moth. Um, yeah, I would Keldeo via Secret Sword too. I, I don't know, Richard. Let me look up what Keldeo V does real quick. Just to get an idea. Keldeo V. What does this boy do? I don't think... I didn't put Keldeo V in my top 5 ranking. Victini V is actually good though. I can see Victini V play, seen play. Keldeo V Secret Sword 30 for each water energy. I think both would be good. I think there have been Japan lists of um, the uh, the Keldeo deck that have come out. 
or the Frostmont deck, and I think they played both Keldeos. I know for certain they still played Keldeo GX, because I think GXs will still be good even with the Sword and Shield base. I'm going to treasure again, so they're definitely going to attack me here, unless they get unlucky. We're also not really in a good spot, though. I just cut out these spell tags. They're not really doing anything for me. The Sylveon ain't going to be useful either. How often do you play online when you're not streaming or recording videos? Uh, can you add me, Mad-Eye Moody? Oh yeah, I'll add you for sure, Albert, after this game. Uh, for those donations and stuff, I do appreciate it. Uh, I play like a little bit there's like times where I'll just chill and like listen to music and just kind of grind the ladder and stuff which I might do tonight I don't know yet I do want to get that full arc chorus ladder because that full arc chorus is a really good card and before he hits both Cynthia and Caitlyn Cynthia oh the two energies okay All right, I'm gonna bring an Eevee we're gonna have to sacrifice Eevee want we'll to just build up this guy into, into a Sylveon we get Mimikyu. That's actually pretty good. We might be able to make use of it. We'll see. Um, we're going to get hit with another Night Watch, so we're going to lose this switch probably. I think I'm still going to Viridian though. Just to thin. I mean, this deck can't really beat the um, Trevnor, but I mean, this deck can probably beat um, Nega Guz. All right, let's see what they do. If they hit the switch, that'll be really bad because I do want to go in Jirachi. Ooh, a Mew 3. That's good. That can be knocked out by Giratina. So there is that. I'm actually surprised he even mentioned that, to be honest with you. So we can swing with Mimikyu here, which I think I'm going to do. Like, we can win the game by knocking out the Trevnor, and then Mewtwo can get knocked out easily by Giratina. So that's, I guess, going to be our win condition. We'll see. Yeah, I think so, too. Hence why I want to keep Keldeo GX. So we can stop GX, and you don't have to worry about opposing Keldeo GX, because Lapras V is there to take that pure hearth. Exactly. I think uh, having both is good, because Keldeo GX is like a mini version of... Or Keldeo V, sorry, is like a mini version of Keldeo, of Lapras V Max. And Bakelio GX is still good because GXs will still be popular. And Power Play might fall off and play a little bit because of Chaotic Swell and because V Maxes and V Pokemon and stuff. So I don't know. We might, well, I don't know, maybe know if Power Play will drop off popularity. Okay, we kept the Switch, which is good. See, so we draw here. Pokecom. Alright, Stellar Wish. Wow, rip. Rip the dream. It's pretty miserable. All right, well, we'll psychic recharge. I guess we'll treasure. Uh, maybe I should go on Blacephalon, but we're not gonna knock this thing out even on Blacephalon. I, mean, I should have gone Blacephalon instead of. I don't know. I don't know what I want to get here. I guess we can still use Blacephalon as a Viridian. Sure. We give it up somewhat of a fight. Alright, let's see some good cards. Okay, Switch and Lily are good. The Switch I like. So they can't just switch. Well, they can always retreat, but still for the best. I don't know. Fairy Sylveon Malamar, is it busted or is it bad? Busted or bad. If I was doing more damage, we... Oh no, Blacephalon can knock him out. Okay. We might actually be able to win this, maybe, because the Mewtwo can get knocked out very easily by Giratina. Power Plant will be here and there because Dedenne will be important to the new rule. Yeah, that is true. I forgot. Yeah, Dedenne will still be really good. I want to know how much Dedenne uh, regular art value will be because we are getting a new Dedenne art. So I don't know if Dedenne's value will go up. Right now, I think it's around... Dedenne GX right now is, I think, around like 28 packs for the regular art. So I don't know if Dedenne's value is going to... I don't know how much it'll go up when the sword, the sword and Shield base comes out. I am really curious, though, to see how much its value will increase. Let's 
he has his GX attack. I completely forgot. Ah, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't helping. Okay, well, we can still do fireworks bomb. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing. We're going to lose. I'm not going to win. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Sylveon Malamar probably sucks, but I still might do a video on it, even though I know people don't like Malamar right now. Uh, so I don't really know. Uh, what other decks could I play? Uh, we could play... Uh, I don't know. Let's let's try this Blastoise Red and Blue deck I have built. The whole idea is is you can use Red and Blue with Blastoise GX if you can get there with War Turtle, and you can also use Red and Blue to get extra waters and play for Silvali. And Silvali actually helps you out quite a bit with its ability, which can draw you cards, which can help you make it easier to find rare candy. So that's kind of the whole idea of this Red and Blue Blastoise GXy type of deck that I've have built. That's the whole idea today. We'll see how it goes. And we also have Rosa, which guarantees you the twice. We'll see how it goes. And I think I'll end up the stream after this game. We've been streaming for an hour and 46 minutes, so it has been a, quite a while. What's that Squirtle start? Not a bad hand, though. I don't even know what they're playing. I wasn't really paying attention to the types. We'll see. Uh, what are they playing? I don't know if I want to pull come from another Squirtle, either. Oh, they're playing ADP. Okay. Frozen Lock is actually pretty bad, because then we can't use Rare Candy. Caldeo is also really bad. The only answer we have is Volcanion and Blastoise, I think. And we have, I guess we have our own Caldeo, too. Maybe it's not the end of the world. Maybe we might be okay. We can Pokecom here. Might get, might get Type Null, because they're not... Well, they are, they're going first, and they're going to get the Energy on. Yep, there it is. It's not really no. Have you played a Mystery Lorelei video yet? I have. I've tried to record one, but like every game I ran into, it was a Wailord Carp Blastoise. No, it was a Wailord Carp Quagnag deck. And the whole idea was to try to use two Tower and Splash one game. But unfortunately, every match I played against was against a um a deck that had Mew in it. And I just gave up at that point. I was like, okay, no, I'm not having it today. But I do want to get it uh, done soon. I guess that's a decent hand. Let's bubble for 10. Hope to get heads. A. Hey, so he has to escape or switch now. Or play that Maolana. That's pretty good. But I do want to do a video on some kind of Misty Lorelei combo video. It's just kind of hard right now because the Whaler card video I want to do is just... Eh, maybe I'll do it in Expanded. Maybe I'll just do it in Expanded then in, then in uh, not in Standard. Because standard didn't work out because every deck I played against had Mew. If you're willing to move to expand it with it, I have found some very space ways to use it. I've tried it in Archie's Toys. I know in Archie's Toys is pretty good, uh, Zero. But what other ways have you figured out how to use it? There's Alter Creation. Now we're going to lose an extra prize each time, which is not fun. So we can rear candy in a Blastoise GX, and I think I'm going to do that. Just to make, just to guarantee this thing is in play. We'll just reload. We're doing zero damage though, but he has no like switching card. Oh no, he already played Malana. Okay, maybe he can't heal then. Okay, there's the Keldeo. We gotta play that down. We're, we'll live a turn here, which is good, because this will allow us to try to set up a Squirtle. Because we need to get Blastoise in place so we can attack with Sonic Edge. He's got 160 HP left. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned Kelly. I should have maybe pulled Comfort Squirtle, and then maybe I could have potentially knocked out the ADP. Yeah, it might have been a misplay on my end. Do you think they should revert Rare Candy so you can use it on the turn you bench basic Pokemon? I mean, that would be nice, Alex, especially with all the big HP basics like ADP and stuff. I That would make it a little bit more healthier. So yeah, I mean, I can see that being a thing. But there are some pretty OP Stage 2 Pokemon. I think that would benefit greatly comboing with some of these tag teams. So I don't really know if it's healthy. I can see it being okay. You don't uh, even need Water GX. My current uh, deck uses GX six, seven times in a row to win. Well, really? Yo, let me know that spice though, dude. Holy cow. What's your opinion on Sinchino? I was planning on pairing it with Snorlax. Uh, yeah, Sinchino's really good. It's probably going to be the new draw support. I don't know if it's better than the Pidgeotos, but it is a really good card. 
and it is good to see a card like that back in my opinion because it's not exactly like Zoark where it's like super OP but it's not terrible either so I guess we gotta lose Blastoise here I don't know how I feel about that All right, what are we drawing another energy yes sir that's what I needed oh no I could just done giant geyser I'm playing like a tool today I apologize I should have just GX'd into Kel- I'm just gonna concede. That ain't going anywhere. I'm playing like an idiot. My brain is scrambled. Alright, I think I'm just gonna wrap up the stream here, guys. Um, uh, yeah, showed off some other cool decks I have. Um, but yeah, Zero, let me know about that deck if you, uh, have a Twitter. Follow me on Twitter and then, like, DM me or just at me the list if you want. Um, but yeah, I think I'll wrap the- wrap the day stream. It's almost been two hours- um and yeah i think we had we had a fun stream and once again thank you albert for the two donations i do appreciate it a lot it means a lot man and uh oh yeah i gotta add you on pcgo before we end the stream that's right my guy i promised i would add you and i'll keep that promise uh sorry ccg I, if you're on my friends list and you're watching the stream i do apologize but i can't keep track of who everyone is all right i gotta add you real quick here albert like i promised i would where are you mad eye moody one all right, but yeah, thank you for stopping by on the stream today, guys. I'll try to live stream again later this week, um, hopefully. I'll ping you on Twitter. All right, yeah, Zero. Uh, my Twitter is in the description, I think, right? Yeah, it is. It's that little dark fairy, same thing. Later, dude. Yeah, all right, see you guys. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's PCO video.